All right, guys, back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to go ahead and take a look at the top 10 tech units um, in Dokkan, another one of these top 10 lists. I'll probably end up doing three more, I think. We'll do top 10 int, top 10 STR, and top 10 physical units, and that will be it. Um, and then, you know, by then, the fifth year anniversary will be about to kick in, you know, full swing, full gear, all that. So this one was one of the tougher ones for me so far. The top three spots, I think, should be fairly obvious. I mean, number one is Gohan and Goten. Like, it's duh, right? Like, you know, two and three should be pretty obvious as well. But after that, it's tough. Um, Tech definitely has a lot of very powerful units. I mean, me personally, I am hoping that the fifth year anniversary Dokkan Fest LRs are probably like physical, STR, and Int, I think, need them the most. Probably physical and STR, I think, are, are what we need a lot. Um, that, just please, no AGL. <laughs> AGL is like by far the strongest typing. It doesn't even really, I don't know, it doesn't seem close. Um, so here's the thing. I might switch up on the fly as we're going through with this, because like, some of these units, I had real difficulty with this, but let's go ahead and jump in. At number 10, I have LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, at times, I have been very difficult on this guy. Very, very difficult on this LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But I've found that with how high his defensive stat is at almost 14,000, that's a huge number. Um, and then this 120% defense at the start of turn, it makes him incredibly valuable for very difficult events. And while he does lose almost all of that defense after he gets his 18 key super attack in exchange for ridiculous power, I've found that it is pretty easy to set yourself up for it. Like if you don't want to use the 18 key super attack, you don't, right? And you could use this guy basically as a defensive option in something like the legendary Goku event. Like this guy can really get the job done in the legendary Goku event, despite the fact that he is tech and he is exposed against that int UI Goku at the end. So all things considered, I do like this guy a lot. I think he is still very powerful. He's very good. Um, you know, again, he doesn't hit that hard if you don't get the 18 key super attack. And then after you get the 18 key super attack, he doesn't have a ton of, uh, uh defense, but everything combined, I feel like 10 is a good spot for him. Uh, we'll talk more about sort of the, the units that just didn't make the cut afterwards. Uh, then we have Murd Zamasu at number nine. Uh, I do really like this Murd Zamasu EZ8, despite the fact that he doesn't really give himself a lot of defense. The high amount of damage he's able to put up really makes up for it. Um, I think he'll be good in Battlefield. He's really good in Super Battle World, lowering Super Class enemies attack. Um, again, he gives defense to Extreme Class Realm of Gods category allies, which is basically, you know, the Goku Black family uh, units. He's really good with AGL uh, Murd Zamasu. His links are very strong. Um, <clears throat> you know, he'll have a good leader skill for Dokkan Battlefield. A lot of things to like um, about EZA Murd Zamasu. I think he's fine at that number nine spot. Uh, next, we have Transforming Frieza. Now, I feel like I've always been way higher on Transforming Frieza than pretty much the entire player base. Ever since this guy first came out, I have been in love with this unit. This guy is really good. Um, the attack and defense, the stacking attack and defense, it's illegal as gold. That HP regeneration of his, he's got a really good link set, and he's on a million teams. Um, and then I have found this guy has had a definite resurgence ever since SCR Cooler has released. Um, I've done some Super Battle World runs where I've had a rotation of SCR Cooler, this guy, and SCR Cooler in Super Battle Road, and all three of those units were dishing out, like, 3.5 million attack stats. It was just, it, like, an insane, like, rotation. Like, they just completely destroyed um, the enemies that we were going up against. Really, the one negative with this guy is that until he goes final form, he does not have shocking speed. I think, you know, if they wanted to make him better, they would have given him shocking speed from the start. That would have really, really helped him out. And then, obviously, I I'm not... The biggest fan of transforming Goku and Frieza, the way they lose their defensive abilities at um, their trans final transform state, I always thought was kind of a kind of a bummer. There, you know, it, you know, they they their defense usually is actually about the same as it is, I believe, like like you know near the start or whatever. Like even though they don't have the defensive buff from their passive anymore, all of the stacks of their defense as they're supering throughout their, all their forms does turn out good, but. I don't know. Um, these units, the Goku and Frieza, definitely would have been better off if they continued to stack um, with their super attack. If they came out nowadays, they would still stack and then have the great chance to stun. They would be insane, right? But uh, I do really like transferring Frieza. Again, I feel like that one is where people are probably not going to like 
transforming freeze that high, but I, I really like that unit. Uh, next, we have the global only at the moment, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I, I mean, I... <laughs> This blue Vegeta and blue Goku, they're so crazy, dude. Like, it's like, you look at his leader skill. His leader skill's good, right? Like, currently, there's only two leaders for this category team, Piccolo and this Vegeta. So that's very, very important. You know, he is only a sub-leader, but that's still really good. He stacks attack and defense really, really good. And then 30% attack and defense from tech key spheres. He creates tech key spheres. And then he gets 20% attack and defense from other key spheres. So, you know, for example, maybe you'd get, you know, six tech spheres and then three rainbow spheres. You know, so you're going to get 30 times six and then you're going to get, uh, you know, 20 times three. Like, it, it's insane. Like, th this blue Vegeta and blue Goku, they are so ridiculous. They're so powerful. They're on a, a whole bunch of teams. They're really, really good. Um, like, again, like, I, I was really looking at it, and it's like, you know, I love transforming Frieza, but, like, you know, the, the amount of, of HP regeneration that this Vegeta and Goku do, because, you know, you get those same type orbs, again, 30% defense with their stacking defense, and then healing from same type orbs, these guys are, are HP regenerating even more than, like, transforming Frieza, so... I mean, this Vegeta definitely, I, I think, had to be on this list. Um, you know, for example, I don't know, just pulling out a random unit, like Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I would definitely run that blue Vegeta over him. No questions asked, right? So, uh, that, hey, that, that's, that's the thing. Like, I, I know a lot of global players still didn't really like their Christmas slash New Year's celebration, but, like, the units global god are, are insane. Like, there's no doubt about that. It's definitely a huge step up from uh, this guy right here from last year. Uh, next, we have uh, Dokkan Fest uh, transforming Trunks right here. Now, this is where I, I really had a little bit of trouble is this next three. I, I guess we'll, we'll just we'll talk about all three at the same time. So we have transforming Trunks. Then we have EZA, Tech Gold, and Frieza. And then we have the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta. Now, again, this is where I was really sort of having trouble with things. I feel like Vegeta probably should be on top of all three, but like... Personally, that Golden Frieza to me and his damage reduction is just, it's so good. And he's got shocking speed and he's on so many teams. But like Vegeta, man, like it's so common. Like turn one, you get this man three orbs and he has like a, over a three million attack stat. Like <laughs> and his defense is like ridiculously high and his teams are crazy and his links are really good. And then like, you know, if he transforms into Majin Vegeta, then you have the ability for him to be super effective against all types and then also guard against all attacks. Like, he just does a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, I, I do feel as though Vegeta is... I, I feel like he's definitely got to be in front of Tech Golden Freezer, right? As much as I am, like... If I'm biased towards any unit on this list, I would say it's this Tech Golden Freezer. I love this guy. Um, just that 80% damage reduction, very, very high stats, defense just under 11k, 17,000 attack, very good stats, he's got shocking speed, the other, one unfortunate thing is he does have these two basically shit links right here, Resurrection F and Super God Combat, because like, Frieza ain't gonna be linked up with Blue Goku and Vegeta, like, let's take a look, uh, no, 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 and no, so, Golden Frieza and Blue Vegeta and Goku don't share links at all. So, you know, <laughs> them having Super God Combat as well as Resurrection F doesn't really do anything for him. I mean, maybe we could eventually get, like, a transforming Resurrection F, like, Frieza, or, like, we get, like, a, an exchange unit, like, Sorbet and Golden Frieza or something like that. Like, I'm sure we could, but, I mean, as of right now, Super God Combat and Resurrection F that's, like, the biggest, like, black mark on this Golden Frieza. It's like kind of those, like, dead links that literally you'll never get. Like, they, they just are completely worthless, which is unfortunate. Um, and then, you know, massively lowering defense isn't really that big of a deal. His leader skill is good for Battlefield, but obviously in normal events, not really so much. So, I don't know. I mean, and then we talk about Trunks, right? He has a godly leader skill, one of the best in the game. He stacks attack. You know, he's strong right here. 
But then, you know, turn three, he becomes crazy. This this guy is so good. Like, one reason I like this guy so much better than EJL Merge Zamasu is this right here. Trunks' second form, I think, is is way light years better than Merge Zamasu's second form. And then I think both are outstanding once they get to that last form. Merge Zamasu is a glass cannon, but he hits super hard. And then this Trunks, you know, what does he get? 30% attack and 10% defense or something like that? Yeah. The issue with this Trunks, I've found, is that this... Uh, Changing key spheres only happens once. If he changed key spheres every turn, he would be wild. But it's only the one time. So, you know, he's a bit limited in how crazy you can really get him. Uh, obviously, his links are good. You know, he links up incredibly well with all, you know, typical trunks as we would see. He's on a ton of teams. I don't know, man. It's just, it's really difficult for me to, this trio. I mean, I'm okay with Vegeta where he is transforming trunks is so good i don't know i i i'm i kind of think i want to just leave it like this because I, I like i don't even like transforming trunks and that golden frieza i don't use one more than the other like i i like if i'm building those category teams i'd like always put like pretty much both of them in there i mean if anything i would give golden frieza a little bit of extra credit here just because you know, turn one, he's one of the very few units in the game that can tank in Super Battle Road. Him, in Janemba, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Xeno, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? There's not many units that turn one are taking double digits or almost no damage from even Super Attacks in Super Battle Road. He's one of the few. Whereas, you know, Trunks, you know, once he transforms in Super Battle Road, his defense is good enough. But, you know, he does have that one turn where he's not really as good. I guess I'll use that to kind of, you know put Frieza there, but I don't know. I definitely could see a lot of people upset by that. <clears throat> Next, we have LR Goku and Frieza. So now, <clears throat> at this point, the top three, I think, is fairly obvious, especially with LR Goku and Frieza at three. We'll just go ahead and fill in the slots. Then we have LR Tech Broly at two, and then, obviously, LR Gohan and Goten are, are uh, an easy number one, right? Like, that's not even... Uh, it's just nothing. Um, LR Goku and Frieza, one of the most damaging units in the game. Their leader skill is good. Like, the 177% the across the board is really nice. Uh, I still... Is that... I think that's still the highest, like... Like, I think they're the only one that does that. 177% across the board. I'm pretty sure they're the only one that still does that. Um, obviously, as that category continues to get buffed, it's going to make Allergo Crim Freeze even better. Uh, but we've only gotten two buffs for this category in a long, long time. And that's Blue Cow Ken Goku. Well, both Blue Cow Ken Gokus, right? The EZ8 for the EGL1... And then the new SCR one who's not yet out on JP. But, you know, we'll see. They'll eventually go back to the Tournament of Power. Obviously, uh, Dokkan is very hesitant to go and spam Dragon Ball Super units since Dragon Ball Super is not on the air anymore. They haven't really added, like, manga-only units at this point. Um, they haven't touched on the manga too much. You know, they have, like, Blue uh, Evolution Vegeta, his super attack. Well, the blue version of him, right? The Gamma Burst flashes from the uh, manga. But, you know, they haven't really done manga stuff like that. So, obviously, they're kind of going slow with the Dragon Ball Super units. Um, LR Tech Broly, again, you know, if you just toss him on a random team, he's going to be good. But that's it. But if you build the team around him or make sure that this man is going to get insane amounts of key... He will be a beast, right? Definitely deserving of this two spot. One of the most damaging units in the game. Uh, then at number one, I mean, Gohan and Goten, only Kale and Khalifa is on this level with this unit. They're insane. I, I mean, I've talked about them a ton. Active skill conditions are a bit restrictive, which is one reason I think Kale and Khalifa are better. Um, Kale and Khalifa, at, you know, after like one turn, like their defensive levels soar to ridiculous heights. I mean, Gohan and Goten... They're so strong defensively that you can bring them in the Legendary Goku event, and they're completely fine. But, you know, Kale and Khalifa, they'll be taking double-digit damage. Um, and then Gohan and Goten might have the best leader skill in the game. Uh, they're in the discussion for sure. Sibling Bond slash Goku family team is, you know, half the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, their leader skill, giving four key, really helps them. Because, you know, their one weakness is they do struggle for key. Whereas, you know, Kale and Khalifa do not ever, no matter what. Because their link set is so good. Turn up power and prepare for battle. Very, very easy for them to write. Super attack, um, super easily. Uh, but the one good thing about Gohan and Goten, just like Kale and Khalifa, they do build up key every single time they attack. And they do have additionals built in. So, it's going to be fairly common i would say for them to attack three times in a turn and then greatly raising attack on both super attacks is really nice as well 
Um, so looking at units that did not make it, LR Goku Black and Zamasu, while very good still, again, defensively, you know, if they don't super attack first, they really get torn up nowadays. Um, LR Texel is really good, but obviously I don't think he's not better than like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Merge Zamasu, right? Um, Ub is solid. This guy's really good, but you know, he's, he's a banner unit. He's not better than, you know, some of these beasts in here. This guy I really wanted to put in the list, but like, I was just, I thought LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a bit better than him. This Goku, you know, he doesn't hit quite as hard as you like, and he doesn't defend quite as much as you'd like either. He, he's good, but he might've come out at a really uh, awkward time for himself. This guy, as much as I personally am not the biggest fan of this unit, I mean, he is outstandingly powerful, no doubt about that. I don't want to discredit him. I, I wouldn't put him above these units on this list, though. Um, and then, obviously, a lot of these other units are just old. I, I just put this guy here just because I really like him nowadays. Beerus is really good, but he's super limited on teams. And then, also, Key can be a bit of an issue with only shocking speed with that, you know, LR Beerus. Uh, LR, there, excuse me, Easy A Tech Cell is really good, but... I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's better than the. Well, I mean, he's he's close. I, he's good. He's good. Um, and then I am not a fan of Super Saiyan three Go tanks whatsoever. I've really soured upon him. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, here we are with the top ten tech units again. Remember, uh, I am opening myself up to a lot of criticism doing these top tens because you know it's all so heavily opinion based. You know, you're gonna have so many disagreements with this. It is what it is. It's fine. Let me know how dumb I am in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, next time, we'll knock out Int, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.